I'm Rich, technical trainer for Failpiece Instruments, and today I'd like to show you the SOX3. Very nice combustion check tool. It has an 8 foot dual channel hose. It's got a little water trap in here with a filter, replaceable. It comes with four extra filters and an O ring in case you have a problem with that. It does come with a little screwdriver. This little screwdriver is meant to calibrate your thermocouple. All thermocouples should be calibrated, by the way. All you do is stick the end into some ice and water, stir it around, go ahead and adjust this till you see 32 degrees. Very easy, very simple to do. One of the really nice features about the SOX3, it has a field replaceable O2 sensor. Very easy to get to. Unscrew this and it pops out. Go ahead and put your new one in there, and there you go. Really, really nice. Uh, another thing it has is a barrel lock. The barrel lock actually goes onto the barrel, and you can go ahead and adjust it to whatever depth that you want, to one inch, or if you want to go into midstream for a two inch pipe, or inch and a half, or whatever you need. Um, the other thing is, if you wanted to, you could just drill your hole out the size of this, screw this in, and go ahead and put it on and you can lock it into place. Some of the features of the SOX3, of course, are the light. And since I have the light on, I want you to pay attention to that little flower. I don't know if you can see that. Basically what that is, is an indicator of the life of your O2 sensor. So once you see that get down to a quarter, a little bit, you're gonna wanna go ahead and replace this O2 sensor. The other thing it has, of course, on-off. On-off basically starts it, and it goes through a pre-purge when it first starts, 30 seconds. And then, of course, when you turn it off, it goes through another purge cycle, so it gets, gets rid of the combustion gases. The other thing is it's got a measure hold. The measure hold, basically what that does is, of course, turns on the pump and stops the pump. And it's got a fuel select. And right now we are on natural gas. It will do oil, propane, and custom. Of course, min-max, and then you have the up and down arrows over here where you can change it from Fahrenheit to, to Celsius, but these have other functions as well, which I'm about to show you. Okay, it's real easy to use, like I said. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate this on a furnace. Right now we have a ream furnace that's just started up, um, and the main thing is what you'd like for the furnace to do is run for about 10-15 minutes to balance the system out before you actually perform any tests. Normally on a furnace when it first starts up you're going to get a really high CO reading. That's typical of all furnaces. That's what happens. So you gotta let that balance out a little bit. Um, the other thing is actually taking the measurement. It's ideal to be at least 12 to 18 inches away from the inducer. Now the inducer in this one is about right here. So if I was to try to do it inside, I'd be inside the sealed con uh, combustion area. And I don't want to do that because I'm bringing in air from the outside. So what we've done is drilled a hole right here. And pretty much what you want to do from any uh, fitting, and this is basic, any fitting like an elbow or um, a reducer, is you want to be, if you're downstream, you want to be at least two times the width of whatever the, 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 that you're working on, like three inch. You want to be six inches away from the uh, reducer or an elbow. Now, the other thing is, if you're before it, you want to be at least half. So, right now, I am about in the middle right here, and it's not extremely critical where, I, where I'm taking this. So, I'll let this run for a few minutes, and then I'm going to go ahead and perform the test. Now, I've got to tell you that I've used this as well as many of the other manufacturers and it does stand up to them and like I said this is a really good entry-level tool it is also a really good tool for anybody who wants to do um, strictly tune-ups if you're just running through a system and startups now if you've got a lot of field piece tools and you already have the, the um, CEO check this would be an ideal addition to that um, it does not do CO it does not have a printer, so you can't do a printout. Um, but, on the other hand, what you can do is take a picture, and that's, that's pretty good. So, I mean, that's, that is what you would need. Um, so, we'll let this run for a minute, and we'll go ahead and get back to it, and I'll perform the test. 
turned it on, insert the probe, and what we're going to do is watch the, the numbers as they change. This will take a few minutes. Once it balances out, go ahead and note the readings. We're running at about 120 degrees on the flue, 8.9% oxygen, 8.8 .8 now, 64% excess air. Go ahead and hit the down arrow. We can see that this furnace is running at 88%. It's important to note that 89% is as high a burning efficiency as you're going to get. And most of the combustion analyzers out there will have you, if, if it's burning at peak efficiency, it's going to be burning, it'll say 89%. And you're not going to get more than that. There are a few combustion analyzers out there that have a little fudge factor in there that would give you a false impression, to be honest, because it's trying to take into account all the other factors within the furnace, which is physically impossible to do. Um, you have the electrical end of it and the mechanical end of it and you have of course your burning end of it. Another nice thing about the SOX3 is you can do your temperature rise and what's really nice is you've got a far reach just in case you need it. Although it doesn't have printing capabilities nor does it do carbon monoxide this is a very affordable entry-level tool and I highly recommend it.